The American Association of Retired Persons added two new metrics to the data they collect on COVID-19 cases and vaccinations in nursing homes, numbers that don't look good here in Florida. Currently what we're seeing is that Florida um, you know, ranks among the worst um, of states with one of the lowest vaccination rates for healthcare workers that are in our nursing homes. The national average of nursing home vaccination rates is just above 56%. Florida, however, ranks second to last, reporting only 41.8%. With concerns about the new Delta variant rising, Champion adds. That's a huge issue and the contagion, um, you know, it, it, the continued exposure it is a concern. We reached out to Leading Age Florida here in Tallahassee to learn why vaccinations aren't mandatory for those trusted to care for our most vulnerable. Nick Vanderlinden says there's a bit of a catch-22. We're in uh, a workforce crisis. Providers are under a lot of pressure, so as opposed to uh, mandating the vaccine um, and feeling that they're creating extra pressure on staff that may leave. What they're instead doing is employing the educational route. Education that Champion also recommends for those caring for elderly loved ones. But if there are other options that may be safer for your loved one, including home-based care, um, those are important options to explore and to just know what's available to you. You can find up-to-date vaccination information by facility from the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services. We'll post a link for you on our website, WTXL.TV. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. AARP also found that there are more unvaccinated residents who are vulnerable to a resurgence of the virus in states where the vaccination rate of the staff is low.